In this episode, we do an unboxing and review of the Geyser Shower System. You've got to see this. The system is portable, it's light, it runs off a 12 volt system, and you hardly have to use any water at all to take a shower. Hello everybody. We have finally got our Geyser Shower System. We were at the Adventure Van Expo in Placerville, California, and then the Overland Expo in Bend, Oregon. And both times we ran into these guys. We've gotten a chance to speak with Jonathan, who's the CEO. Uh, we've gotten a chance even at their booth to take a shower with one of these systems. And because of that, we've ordered our own. So I wanted to show you what it's like to get one of these, what you get when you open it up, and let's go through and give this a try. Okay, so we're going to open up this box. It only took a few days to get in the mail, it came right on time. And there it is. We've got the geyser system. Okay, it probably weighs about four pounds is my guess. And it comes with a few attachments. One is a hose that's going to pump. That's the shower hose basically right here. And then we've got the electrical outlet, a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug that will run this. So it's a pretty simple setup. There are two different models. One that has a battery and a heat system in it. That's the um, Plus model, I believe, and then the other model, which we have, where you boil water and you put uh, a third of this canister here of boiling water and the rest cold water, and that should bring it around 95 degrees for a perfect shower. So in the back here, we've got one of these plugs, and it matches up with our 12 volt power. These guys thought I had enough ahead to make a very long cord in case you did not want to take a shower inside your van where we're sitting. You could uh, plug it in, run it outside to wherever you want to be able to power the pump to get the water through the shower head. I've opened this up and we've got a nice, it looks like silicone, very flexible tube. That goes right in the top here clicks in, just zero problem there. Then, what you're going to shower with, they send out a little packet like this with a shower head. And this is what it looks like. You've got a scrub pad on the back, sponge on the front, and that connects straight into your shower cord. Just clicks in. And then you'll use this valve right here to adjust the flow of water that'll come through the sponge. Okay, so your power cord is very easy to attach. It comes with these nice Velcro straps. Easy connect. And then you'll plug it into any outlet see right away it comes on so what we've got is it lets you know the temperature of the water or if you need to fill the water right now it's saying it's blinking because we have no water in there it's very low and the way you put the water in is you take this container off we'll put a third volume of boiling water and then the rest nice tap water. So that should give us just about the temperature that we want. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, we decided we're not actually using Perrier. We're using a Perrier bottle filling up from our tap. The temperature outside right now is about 102 degrees. We're in the middle of the Joshua Tree Desert area so I'm not going to put boiling water in here. We're going to go straight with tap water because it's going to fill one heck of a lot better. We may even put some ice cubes in this. Ice cube? 
So when, when this is filled up, this is like we've got approximately a gallon. I believe it's a gallon of water. Which a typical shower at home is maybe 40 gallons when you're taking a shower at home. So that gives you an idea of how much this is going to conserve on water. We ordered online Pure Castle Soap. This stuff is super concentrated. And the way this works is you just need to put a couple drops. That's probably quite a bit right there. And I'll turn on the shower, which is going to start pumping water into this sponge and make it wet. Now you control the flow by turning this valve right here. So you can hear it pumping. I've got it quite slow. If I want it to go really fast, I would turn it up. So you can start to see water starting to gather in this sponge. So I'm going to turn it off for right now and start to use this. Get myself suds up. You suds up from the top and work your way down. And I should use far less than one gallon of water for a shower. So let's get going. So we've got a good flow of water. Yeah, you can see it's starting to suds up. Mmm, gosh. <laughs> got every inch of myself. It feels great. It feels really good. Huh. It's weird when you're camping and you get a new shower. It changes your whole way you feel. It's great, especially that peppermint soap. Let's look in here and see how much water we used. I used about a half gallon. Yeah, this enough. would be my guess. To take a full shower, soap, rinse. I didn't do my hair, but a little trick. If you wanted to really rinse off, you basically pull off your shower um, sponge. You can turn on your water, and you can adjust. So you've got a lot of options for doing your hair, rinsing off quick. That's it. I did the shower in about two minutes, three minutes. We hope you enjoyed this review. We highly recommend this shower. And we'll see you on the road with Keith and We Adventures.